Today we are going to be talking about composite figures. And what a composite figure is, is it is a figure that is put together with other smaller figures. So for instance, we might have several rectangles put together or some squares or triangles and they kind of put together in a big blob for lack of better words. So we will be trying to find the area of these uh, of these figures. So what we see here, I'll have two examples for you. The first one looks like, I'm like okay, it's a composite figure. It's neither a square, a rectangle, a triangle, or a trapezoid. Those are the ones that we have been studying so far. But what we can do is section this thing off so that we can find the area a little more easily. So what I'm looking at here is I have, if I could section this off, I could probably have a rectangle and another rectangle. So I'm just going to use my straight edge right here. And if I did that, I now have two rectangles. I see I have one. That we have to look at now what lengths we should be using. So here is 7 meters, and this is 13 meters. So we have to be careful. This 10 meters refers to this whole side, the length of that whole side. So if I look at this big rectangle, I know that my area is length times width. So I have 7 times 13. And if I did that on my calculator, I get 91 square meters. Then I have to do this tiny rectangle. And I see that it is 3 by 2. So my area is length times width, which is 2 times 3, which is 6 square meters. So now what I have to do is add my areas together. 6 and 91, I get 97 square meters. And that is the area of this entire figure. That's a pretty simple example. Now we might get something a little more complicated. So we have this figure, and we can see it is truly just a blob of things. So we're just good. Then there's no real formula for doing this. You just have to use your eyes. You have to kind of just use your mind and see if you can just section these things off. I'm going to look at this right here. It looks like I can make this into a triangle. So I section this off. Now we just have to figure out what my measurements are. I don't know how much this is. I don't know how much this is. All I know is that this whole thing is 14. But then I have, and I know that this is 12 right here. So I'm not sure, now let's just, let's think about this. Then I have a three here. So if this is three, this right here is 14. So I know this whole thing right here, three plus 14 is 17. So this whole, I'm just going to put a dotted line here. That is 17. And if I know that this right here is 12. This is 17 minus 12. So here's a 5. Now, this. I wonder how, how long this segment is because I need to find that. That's going to be the height of my triangle. So I know that this is 5, and then here's a 2. So if I extended this out, this is 5 and this is 2. So this whole thing is 7. So this has to be 7, 4, and that this would be 3. Now, I can use, to find the area of my triangle, 1 half base times height. So if I just start plugging in my numbers, my base is 5, my height is 3. So I get 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 2. So we can say 15 halves, or I might want to say that's seven and a half. We don't know, and this would be millimeters, square millimeters. 
All right, so now let's look at this shape here. I'm going to section this off. You can, there are different ways to do it. This is the way I am doing it. So here we have a small rectangle, three by five. So that is this length times width, five times three, which is 15 square millimeters. Yeah, not bad. All right, so now this length, we determined it is the two plus the five. So it's seven. This is 12, but we know this little part is three. So this then is 12 minus three is nine. So the area is length times width, which is nine times seven, which is 63 square millimeters. So what we have to do is we have to add all of those areas up. This one is 15, this one is 63, and this triangle is seven and a half. Now, if we added these all up, there's a half. Five plus three is eight, plus seven is 15. Oops, you can't see it on my screen. 15, carry the one. One plus one is two, plus six is 85. So it is 85 and a half square millimeters. So this can be a lot of fun. There are multiple ways of doing it. Go and practice.